let's move on to part 2 of topology number of possible trees is given by multiplication of reduced incidence matrix and transpose of incidence matrix okay reduced incidence matrix over here and then if n equals to number of nodes and b equals to number of branches then number of branches in a tree is given by this formula and number of branches in a code tree is given by this formula and the number of branches in a directed graph is the sum of twigs and lengths let's talk about incidence matrix okay suppose you are given a graph and asked to find out the incidence matrix what you're going to do you are taking one node at a time uh, means you are taking all the nodes and write them vertically take all the branches write them horizontally now you are taking one node at a time and you are assigning zero to all the branches that are not connected okay here you see that a b and f are not connected to this node 4 so a b and f will be assigned zero value take node 3 into consideration you see a c d are not connected so a c and d are assigned zero value okay now we are going to do this for all the nodes now again we are taking one node at a time and we will assign minus one to the branch that is directed towards the node and plus one to the branch which is directed away from the node okay here you see that c d and e are all directed towards the node and hence aside minus one here you see c d e minus one minus one minus one let's talk about node three here two branches are moving away from the node hence assigned plus one b and e here b and e are assigned plus one and f is moving again towards the node hence we are assigning minus one similarly we are going to do all uh, this for all the nodes and the matrix hence obtained is the incidence matrix okay keep in mind that if it is moving away from the node then it is plus one and if it is moving towards the node then it is minus one the rank of this matrix cannot be greater than n minus one then important things to remember is if a degree of a node is two then two branches are incident at a node and are in series columns and two identical rows corresponding to two branches of same end nodes and hence parallel graph can be constructed from the matrix important thing here to remember is if you are given this particular matrix you can uh, easily make this graph okay let's talk about reduce incidence matrix there is a property of this matrix that when you sum of all the rows of this matrix you are obtaining zero you know that sum of all the rows is equals to zero you can easily eliminate one of the rows okay and you will still get the same answer you can still you will still be able to make this matrix out of it okay so deleting this particular row the matrix hence remained is the reduced incidence matrix and the node which is concerned with the deleted row okay here number four node concerned to the deleted row is actually called the reference node or data node okay now let's talk about KCL and incidence matrix suppose you have to find out the branch current using this reduced incidence matrix and tree in a graph is given by this formula n to the power n minus 2 okay this is applicable only when all the nodes are connected at least once and there is no repeated branches okay this is all for this and you have seen that uh, KCL and uh, incidence matrix have this relation a1 ib formula okay this is for the numerical which is asking for branch currents okay so this is the formula this is the format of the formula okay a1 ib a1 is the reduced incidence matrix okay from this question we are taking reduce incidence matrix then we take the branch currents and equals to zero here you are going to find each and every branch current from this uh, solution okay now we are moving on to duality okay mesh equivalents of one circuit equals to nodal equivalent of other circuit then these two circuits are called dual to one another and certain properties are dual as well like resistance and g l and c voltage and current series and parallel thevenin and nodal no mesh and nodal tie set and cut set okay this is all for instance matrix this is all for part two okay now we will be moving to part three